Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm super pumped for today's video because my new iPhone just came in and this might be one of the first years that I actually got it on release day because I pre-ordered this year. I didn't second guess myself. I always say I'm not gonna upgrade and then I end up upgrading. And so it just made way more sense to just pre-order it this year so I could get it as soon as it came out. This is the iPhone 13 Pro Max with 256 gigabytes and I have AT&T as my provider. Then here is my old phone. This is the regular iPhone 12 Pro. So I'm gonna be switching from this size to the max. So it's gonna be quite a bit bigger, but my sister has it, my friends have the bigger one. And every time I'm using their phone, I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I had the larger one. So it's gonna take some getting used to cause this one like fits so easy in my hand, but I'm super pumped for the new one. Okay, I'm actually obsessed with this color. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking cute. Decided to go with the Sierra blue color and I am so glad I did. I love how this looks. It's a really neutral shade of blue and since most of the time I have a case on anyway, I'm really only gonna see this part. Here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison. This is my iPhone 12 Pro and this is 13 Pro Max. So you can see, just like let's stack them. Okay, when you do that, it doesn't look that much bigger, but like when I'm holding them, it really feels huge. Here's the most exciting part. Another thing I'm really excited about for this new phone is it's supposed to have a better battery life, which obviously the pros already have a larger battery, but this is supposed to be even better than like the typical battery life of the iPhone 12s. So I'm very, very excited for that. I'm gonna finish setting this up and getting logged in and I'll be right back. Just finished setting it up. Every time I get the new phone, I never transition everything over from my old phone because it really gives me a chance to go through my old phone and clear everything out of this one and then just transfer over what I want. So I'll go to the app store. I'm still logged into like my ID. I just choose not to transfer it over. So that way it's like a fresh start and anything that's really important, I'll have saved onto iCloud. The cable is lightning to USB-C and I actually already have the MagSafe charger and I have two of the bricks, which actually do charge your phone so much faster. So I love that. I do think it's a little cheap on Apple's I remember last year when I got the new phone and I was like, oh great, they don't actually include a brick anymore. Apparently they're trying to cut down on their carbon footprint, but I think it's just an excuse to not give us a charger. But there's that, and now I wanna show you guys my new case. I ordered this cheap clear case on Amazon. It was supposed to be something that would not actually turn yellow, even though it's a transparent case. That's what they said anyway. I don't know if I believe that, but it's just a basic clear case and it's actually pretty hard so that it's supposed to be able to handle drops. So I like the idea of using just a plain case when I first get like a new color or something because I'm like, I can appreciate the pretty color through the clear case. But even more exciting is the case I got from Casetify. Casetify was kind enough to send me a tempered glass screen protector, which was awesome. I always like to have one of these on my phone to protect it whenever I drop my phone. And then these are lens protectors. Oh, cool, for the camera, that's awesome. And then they also sent over a custom case. I do have a discount code with Casetify. If you wanna save some money whenever you purchase a case with them, you can use the code XO Melissa Lucy. And here's the case they sent over. It's their clear impact case. And they customized it with my name. So thank you so much, Casetify. It's so cute. I love a good custom case. So here is what this case looks like. Super nice and very, very protective. I love case to fi cases. I wanted to step outside really quick and show you guys what the phone looks like in actual natural lighting because fluorescent lights from inside my room can definitely take away from the beauty of the phone. So I want you to get a good look at it. I'm obsessed if you're thinking about going with the Sierra blue color, I highly recommend it because it's not super bright. So if you're someone who typically is into more neutrals like I am, I do not regret this color at all. It's so subtle and it's just freaking stunning. So there you have it, my unboxing of my new phone. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are not subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button. I make tons of videos every week all about lifestyle, productivity and entrepreneurship. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video.